Hi, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we, we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have it all right here. But you have to become a VIP club member, so join up to have access to all these great tools, which will help you with your bets every single time. So we're going to look at the NBA schedule here for Friday, March the 13th. As we are down to under a quarter of the schedule remaining, there are still playoff seedings yet to be determined and people hoping for their teams to do the best that they can to get that home court advantage for the first round of the playoffs and the teams are vying for those spots. So we're going to look at some of the games here. Scroll down through here and the first matchup we want to look at is the Washington Wizards at the Boston Celtics. Notice both teams are average status at the moment. Washington has won three out of their last six and you can see Boston has also won three out of their last six. The Wizards are on the outside of the playoff picture looking in at ninth in the Eastern Conference. Boston is a very solid third in the conference and has taken one of the two meetings between the teams this season, as you will see under this head-to-head -head matchup thing here. You see Washington won the last one, 99-94. Boston won the previous one, 140-133. to If you look at the power ranking indicator, Boston is at plus 23. Washington is at plus 5 at the moment. If you look at the totals predictor, if you want to consider the over and under in this one, Washington is playing in games trending over the line. Boston is playing in games trending over the line as well, so betting the over is a wise choice in this one. If you look at the volatility oscillator, how stable are the two teams? Both very stable, plus 23 to plus 21, and what this means is that they are performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. So Boston is a clear favorite in this one. They're a much better team, and they should win this one rather comfortably. Going down through here, we will take a look at Minnesota Timberwolves at the Oklahoma City Thunder. You see that the teams are trending in opposite direction. Minnesota is ice cold down, having lost their last three. Oklahoma City is burning hot. They have won their last two and four out of their last six. Minnesota is next to last in the conference. Oklahoma City is fifth from the bottom, so neither team really has much to play for at this moment. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that Oklahoma City is at plus 21. Minnesota has dropped considerably from plus 11 down to plus 2 just over the last few days. Head to head, what has happened this season? Well, you can see here that Oklahoma City has won all three meetings and by rather comfortable margins each time, and the scores have been relatively high as well. So if you're thinking about the over and under, we're going to take a look at the totals predictor. You can see that Minnesota is playing in games trending over the line. So is Oklahoma City. So playing the over is a wise choice in this one. <clears throat> if you look at the volatility oscillator, are the two teams stable? Well, Minnesota is at plus 11, so they're relatively stable. Oklahoma City is more so at plus 18. So expect them to perform according to their favorite underdog status. Oklahoma City will be the favorites since they are at home and a much better team. So I can expect them to win this one as well. Taking a look now at the Denver Nuggets and the San Antonio Spurs. Both teams are average status at the moment. You can see Denver has won three out of their last six. And the Spurs have done the same, winning three out of their last six. Denver looks to secure a home court advantage in, in the first round of the playoffs. They are third in the conference so far. The Spurs have a little to play for, though. Twelfth in the conference. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see Denver has an advantage of plus 20 to plus 11. If you look here now at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that Denver won the last one by 7. 127 to 120 back on February the 10th. That was the only game played between these two teams this season. If you're considering the over and under, you can see that Denver is playing games trending over. So is San Antonio. Betting the over is a wise choice in this one. I might have already said that, but anyway, if I did, there you go. The over is the wise choice. Uh, how stable are the two teams? Denver is at plus 20 on the team volatility oscillator. San Antonio is plus 12. So both teams are performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. Denver 
is the road team, but they're probably going to be a road favorite. I expect a high-scoring game in this one. I expect the Nuggets to come out on top once again. New Orleans Pelicans and the Utah Jazz. The Pelicans make look to make a push for the playoffs. In the Western Conference, they are currently ninth, so they still have a shot, and Utah is fourth. The Pelicans are burning hot at the moment, winners of their last two. The Jazz have average status of the, of the moment. They have they had won their previous four, then they took a loss at home by nine against Toronto. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see Utah is at plus, uh, what is this, plus 26, and New Orleans is here at plus 11, so a considerable advantage for the Jazz on that. If you're considering the over and under, you can see New Orleans is playing in games trending over the line. Utah is playing games trending under the line, so probably best to avoid the over or under in this scenario. If you look at the team volatility oscillator, like I always like to do, you can see that both teams are performing consistently according to their unfavored underdog status with Utah at plus 24 compared to plus 18. Utah, being the home team, being the better team, will likely be a moderate to heavy favorite in this one, even though the Pelicans are playing better at the moment. It won't matter. I expect the Jazz to hold down home court, but win this one in a relatively close game. Let's take a look at Brooklyn Nets and the Los Angeles Clippers. Probably the game of the day. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. You can see that the Nets have won their last three, four out of their last six. The Clippers have won five out of their last six games. The only loss coming against the Lakers by a 112-103 margin. If you look at the power ranking indicator. Clippers are at plus 27. New Jersey is on the rise. They were at plus 10 just five days ago. They were up to plus 19, so they're definitely playing a lot better ball as of late. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups. You can see the two teams have not yet played this season. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. Again, you can see that the Clippers are extremely stable at plus 26, and Brooklyn is relatively stable as well. Still in the positive, they are at plus 12. And we take a look at the over and under. You can see that New Jersey is playing in games trending a little bit over the line. But look at this. The Clippers are playing in games trending a little bit farther under the line. So you might want to avoid the over and under since they're on opposite sides of the line. But you might want to go with the under. I would not bet the over. You might want to bet the under in this one. So what do I expect overall for this game? It's very little to indicate that the Nets can really hang with the Clippers. They can probably can be competitive for a while. The Clippers are, are a hot team. They're one of the best in the league. They will win this one and keep on the tails of the Lakers in the division. So there you have it. Those are all the games for the day, but I want to take a look at one more thing quickly before we conclude here. If you go up to the top here and look at the hot trends, you can find the top auto performing automated systems. And when you go there, you can scroll down through and since we're talking about NBA, once you select the NBA, and just keep it as it is. You can do the profit type on whatever you want. So let's just keep it for this. That's just now. Okay, let's go to 2020. Profit for this year. You can see the profit for this year. The best one for this year right now is Kenneth System, David's NBA Home Dogs. You can see the profit at 4,592. There's all kinds of great tools here. There's a position change. There's profit charts. You can see all this. All these other numbers. You can take a look at any one of these and you know, do what you want with them, but they will help you. They're really good tools that will help you with all the other tools to help you make your picks the best way possible. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the games this weekend. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.